Archaeologists have discovered a vast tunnel under an ancient Egyptian temple. It's so exciting. I need to see what is in there. It has been hidden for 2,000 years. لقينا تابوت ضخم من الحجر الجيري وجاء وبجوار هذا التابوت أثار هامة جدا كلها شكلها دولة قديمة. The ancient civilization of Egypt is one of wonder and awe. Archaeologists have been digging up sites and artifacts for centuries now, and they aren't going to stop anytime soon. That's partly because while ancient Egyptians love to build monuments and preserve artifacts, it's been over 2,500 years since they last walked the earth. That's enough time for many a secret to be lost in the sands. New discoveries are being made every day, with each new one giving us a little more information about the ancient civilization. But while we think we've understood the elder Egyptians completely, there probably is an astronomical amount of knowledge buried under the dunes. What are these new discoveries? Let's find out. Archaeologists have discovered a vast, spectacular tunnel beneath a temple in the ancient ruined city of Taphosiris Magna on the Egyptian coast. Experts are referring to the tunnel as the geometric miracle. Kathleen Martinez of the University of Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic and her colleagues discovered the structure 13 meters or 43 feet below the ground during ongoing excavations and exploration of the temple. The tunnel, which was 2 meters in height, had been hewn through an incredible 1,305 meters or 4,281 feet of sandstone. According to the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, its design is remarkably similar to the 1,036 meter tunnel of Apollinos, a 6th century BCE aqueduct on the Greek island of Samos, located on the island of Samos. When it came to design and construction, the conduit was often referred to as a marvel of engineering. While the Taposiris Magna Tunnel is not without its equal, its engineering is nevertheless equally impressive. Parts of the Taposiris Magna Tunnel are submerged in water, though its purpose is currently unknown given its resemblance to the Apollinos Tunnel. Martinez, who has been searching for the lost tomb of Cleopatra VII in Taposiris Magna since 2004, believes that the tunnel could be a promising lead. Previous excavations have revealed clues that appear to point to the famous queen and the last of the Ptolemies. Ptolemy II, the son of Alexander the Great's renowned general and one of Cleopatra's forebears, founded Taphosiris Magna around 280 BCE. She herself ruled from 51 BCE until her suicide in 30 BCE. Cleopatra had a strong association with the god Osiris and his queen, the goddess Isis, and the temple was dedicated to them. Coins with the names and images of Cleopatra and Alexander the Great were found there, as well as figurines of Isis. The temple also has burial shafts with Greco-Roman burials. If Cleopatra and her husband Mark Antony were to be found there at all, it is possible that they may have been interred in similar tombs. Is it possible that the new tunnel will lead to these long-lost tombs? Future work could yield more information. The next phase of the project will be exploring the nearby Mediterranean Sea. The coast was hit by several earthquakes between 320 and 1303 CE, which caused part of the temple to collapse and be swallowed by the waves. Furthermore, excavations have shown a network of tunnels that went from Lake Marriott to the Mediterranean. A thorough excavation of these ruins could provide us with additional information about the mysterious ancient city, whether, whether the tombs were found. Pieces of pottery and a block of limestone have already been found in the tunnel. Zemi Hamas, the then Ministry of Antiquities, said 13 years ago, if we discover the tomb of Cleopatra and Mark Antony, it will be the most important discovery of the 21st century. If we did not discover the tomb of Cleopatra and Mark Antony, we made major discoveries here, inside the temple and outside the temple. Archaeologists have discovered a gold leaf-covered mummy sealed inside a sarcophagus that had not been opened for 4,300 years. It is believed that the mummy is the remains of a man named Hecashepus, and this is one of the oldest and most complete non-royal corpses ever found in Egypt. It was discovered in a 15-meter shaft at a burial site south of Cairo, Saqqara. Three other tombs were also found there. One tomb belonged to a secret keeper. One of the mummies found at the ancient necropolis is said to belong to a man called Kanum Dejadef, a priest, inspector, and supervisor of nobles. Another belonged to a man named Mary, who was a senior palace official who had the title of secret keeper, which allowed him to do special religious rituals. A collection of what are thought to be the largest statues ever found in the area had been discovered, and it is thought that Fatek, a judge and writer, was laid to rest in the other tomb. Additionally, several other items, including pottery, were found among the tombs. 
Archaeologist Zahai Hawass, Egypt's former antiquities minister, has stated that all the discoveries date from around the 25th to the 22nd centuries BC. Ali Abdu Dashish, another archaeologist involved in the excavation, said, This discovery is so important as it connects the kings with the people living around them. Saqqara has been an active burial ground for more than 3,000 years and is a designated Nseko World Heritage Site. It is located in what was the ancient Egyptian capital Memphis and is home to more than a dozen pyramids, including the Step Pyramid, near where the shaft containing the mummy was found. This new discovery comes a day after experts in the southern Egyptian city of Luxor said they had discovered a complete residential city from the Roman era dating back to the 2nd and 3rd centuries AD. Residential buildings, towers, and medical workshops containing pots, tools, and Roman coins were discovered by archaeologists. Egypt has recently revealed numerous major archaeological discoveries as part of the efforts to revive its tourism industry. By 2028, the government hopes that the Grand Egyptian Museum will draw 30 million tourists a year, which is due to open this year. Archaeologists in Egypt announced the discovery of a burial site in the city of Luxor that dates back to the ancient Egyptian 13th dynasty. The site in Luxor's Dra Abu El Nagad necropolis contains sarcophagi, remains, and artifacts that date back almost 4,000 years to sometime between 1803 BC. Dr. Faithi Yashin, Director General of Antiquities of Upper Egypt, revealed in an interview, We have discovered more than a thousand burial sites before in Luxor, but this is the first time we found one from the 13th dynasty. This site is about 50 yards wide and 70 yards long. The burial site also contained a complete sarcophagus made of pink granite weighing about 11 tons, inscribed with the name of a minister named Anko who lived during the reign of King Sobhotep II during the 13th dynasty. The experts also noticed that there were some ushabits, small statuettes made of wood and painted white to imitate limestone. Yashin explained, I've been working in this field for more than 25 years now, and this is the first time I've seen yushbits with scriptures written in hieratic instead of hieroglyphs. Between the 3rd millennium BC and the mid-1st millennium BC, hieratic was the common written form of ancient Egyptian. Archaeologists announced that they had discovered a complete city dating back to the Roman era in eastern Luxor. According to the Egyptian Archaeological Mission, the city is located near the Luxor Temple. The Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities described it in a statement as the oldest and most important residential city on the east bank of Luxor. According to scholars, it is an extension of the city of Thebes. Yashin further explained, It is important because it shows us more about the life of regular Egyptians at the time. Scientists had unearthed only the northern part of the city so far. The discovery includes some residential buildings, workshops, and two pigeon towers, which used to house pigeons or doves. The buildings date back to the 2nd and 3rd centuries, the statement said. Egyptian archaeologists have discovered the remains of an ancient temple built to honor Zeus Cassios, a deity sporting the features of both Zeus and the weather god Cassios, according to the Egyptian ministry. Tel Arfarama, an archaeological site located on the northwestern Sinai Peninsula, was where the ruins were discovered. In Greco-Roman times from 332 BC to AD 395, this area was known as the city and harbor of Pelusium, which was located on the far eastern mouth of the Nile River. Pelusium was used for various functions, including as a fortress during the time of the Egyptian pharaohs, and artifacts dating to the Greco-Roman, Byzantine, Christian, and Islamic eras due to its strategic location. When the archaeological team excavated around the remains of the two pink granite columns lying on the ground surface, Mustafa Waziri, Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, discovered the temple. The temple's front gate was once formed by these columns, but they collapsed in ancient times when a mighty earthquake rocked the city. For several decades, researchers have suspected that there might be a Zeus Cassios temple at the site. According to a 2010 paper, archaeologists have concluded that the granite columns were likely brought on barges via the Nile from Aswan in southern Egypt to Pelusium in the early 1900s and later in the 1990s. The late French Egyptologist Jean Claudet discovered Greek inscriptions at the site which indicate that a temple for Zeus Cassios had been built there in Greco-Roman times. The site, which is near an ancient fort and a church, was never officially excavated by archaeologists. Now archaeologists have discovered previously unknown remains of the temple, including granite blocks that were likely part of a staircase leading to the temple's entrance on the eastern side of the building. Amen Ashmai, head of the Egyptian Antiquity Sector at the Supreme Council of Antiquities, said in the statement, There were several large blocks of pink granite in the streets around the temple site, indicating that workers repurposed the temple stones for other projects, such as nearby churches. 
The newly analyzed blocks are now being documented with photogrammetry, a technique in which many digital images are used to create virtual 3D images. This will help the team attempt to recreate the temple virtually. Some granite blocks have inscriptions that suggest the Roman Emperor Hadrian, who ruled between AD 117 to 138, renovated the temple. With the new advancements in this technology, we'll be able to grasp what really happened to these sites and the people who lived there, like the unearthed city of Luxor or the supposed tunnel to Cleopatra's mysterious tomb. Only time will give us answers. For now, though, all we need to do is wait. So what do you think happened to the city of Luxor? Why was the geometric tunnel made? And who really was the secret keeper? Kindly let us know in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching Space Rumor.